Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX calculator to do the base number type of question and how to convert from different base to like base 10 to base 258 or the other way. All right, so at first, you kind of need to understand for base number in SBM, basically you have like four different base, base 2, base 5, base 8, and base 10. All right, so base 10 basically is just the normal number you every day use, like like 84. If you if I today I write 84, this one basically means base 10 because I don't write any base number here. If I leave it blank, basically means base 10, like 101. This is base 10. Okay, if I want to show uh, this is base 2, I must write a small letter 2 here, or I can write about uh, 75 base 8 or I can write about 43 base 5. All right, if I don't write anything, I only show like 84 like this, basically it's mean base 10. All right, this is some basic idea. All right, this calculator, it have a special function for base number. You just press the menu, and then you should be able to see base n over here. Your n can be either 2, 8, 10, and 16. So over here, I want to tell you that uh, in this calculator doesn't have base 5, but it have base 16. But in SBN, you're not going to use about base 16. All right, so let's go into enter first. Okay, so DEC basically stands for base 10. So you kind of need to know base 10 basically in this calculator is DEC. So you should be able to see the blue color letter here, DEC. Right, and then base 2 basically in this calculator is binary, BIN. So if I type this one, you should be able to see BIN. So we have about BIN, which is base 2. And then we don't have base 5 in this calculator, but we have a base A, okay, which is OCT. So this is OCT. All right, let's use uh, all capital letter. It's easier for you to see it. Okay, so just remember, okay, it's base, base 2 is BIN, base A is OCT, and base 10 is DC. All right, so therefore, in, if you see base 5 in the exam, you kind of need to do manually. You cannot use this calculator. All right, let's have a look uh, on two very important parts in this topic, which is how to convert the base 10 into base 2, 5, and, and 8. At the same time, you also need to do the other way around, which is convert the base 2, 5, 8 into the base 10. All right. So, okay, this is how we will do. If you have a base 10 number, I just randomly give you some number. Let's say today we have a number like uh, 30. Okay, if I want to convert this 30 into the base 2, well, this is what I will do. So I will just use the 30 divided by 2. And then I will get 15. My remainder will be 0. And then divided by 2 again, I will get 7. Remainder will be 1, isn't it? Because, yeah, you just imagine our 2 times 7 get 14. 15 minus 14, you get 1. Div divide 2 again, then you have 3, 2 is 6. S 7 minus 6, your remainder is still 1. And then divide by 2 again, then you will left 1, and then 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times minus 2 is still, remainder is 1. Alright, then this is how you read your base number from here all the way to here. So you can see, if I write my answer, it should be 1, 0, I mean 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is when I convert 30 base 2 into the, uh, base 10 into the base 2. All right, if I want to convert them into the, let's say, base 5, then I will do the same thing, 30. I will divide it by 5. Then I will left with 6, 5 will give me 30, so remainder will be 0. And then I will divide it by 5 again. Then I left 1, 5, 5, 6 minus 5. I still get 1. So should be, this is base 2, right? This, is, this one should be read like this. So it will be 1, 1, 0 base 5. Alright, if I want to convert them into the base 8, then I will do the same thing again. This is 30. I will divide it by 8. Then I will left about 3 times 8 is 24. And then 30 minus 24, you have 6. Alright, then 3 cannot divide by 8 again, right? Then you read like this. Basically, is 36. 36, base 8. 
All right, if I want to check my answer is correct or wrong, what I will do is in this calculator, I will go to the DEC, which is base 10. I just type my base 10 number. In this case, it's 30. All right, in this calculator, I can check the base 2 and base 8. So what I want to do is I just die type the binary BIN, then I can see my base 2 answer, which is 11110. You can see 11110. Okay, so when you read, you must be very careful for all these zero, because sometimes it might hide a 1 here, then you should start from the 1 there. Okay, so you must be very careful. Same idea, if I want to convert my 30 into a base 8, then I just type the OCT. I type OCT, then you can see it's 36 here. Okay, this is how to convert uh, from base 10 to base 2, 5, 8 manually. All right, what if I want to change them back into the base 10? Okay, then this is how you will need to do. Of course, I will teach you the manual way, and then I will teach you how to use the calculator. All right, so let's say I want to change the 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, base 2, uh, base, uh, change it back to the base 10. All right, this is what I will do. The last digit is 2 power of 0, and then this one will be 2 power of 1, and then this one will be 2 power of 2, this one will be 2 power of 3, this one will be 2 power of 4. Basically, mean each places here have their own value. Okay, you kind of need to use like 1 multiply 2 power of 4. Is 1 multiply 2 power of 4 will be 16, isn't it? 16 plus 1 multiply 2 power of 3. 2 power of 3 is 8. And then 1 multiply 2 power of 2 is 4, 1 multiply 2 power of 1, which is 2, 0 multiply anything, I get 0. Then I just plus all these numbers together, I will get 30. Okay, same idea for 1, 1, 0, base 5, isn't it? So we always start from 5 power of 0, and then this one is 5 power of 1, and then this one will be 5 power of 2. Alright, 1 multiply 5 power of 2, which is 25. 1 multiply 5 power 1, which is 5. 0 multiply anything, get 0. Then I get back 30. So like this one, 36, I will do the same thing. This this base 8, right? This one will be 8 power of 0. And then this one will be 8 power 1. So like 3 multiply 8 is 24. 6 multiply 8 power of 0. 8 power of 0 is 1, isn't it? 6 times 1, you get 6. Then I still get back 30. So I know all of my answer is correct. So in this calculator, if you want to change the base 2 into the base 10, you just go to the BIN. Uh, and then you, let's say, okay, you type the number I want, 11110. Okay, I type enter. And then I just go to the DEC. It will change to 30 for me. Same idea, if I want to go to the base 8 here, let's say I just type AC. And then I just enter like 36, enter again, and then it goes to DEC. This is how I change to the base 10. Then you can see I will get 30 again. So you can use this one for other number. Yeah, you will find uh, this function is very useful when your number is very big. Because when the number is very big, if you need to do manually, it's going to take you a lot of time. And base number in SBM only come out in paper one. So I highly recommend all the students, please use a calculator whenever you can. Unless you have base 5, then you have no choice. You need to do manually. Before I end this video, let's have a look at some exam-like questions. Alright, for question number 1 here, express 205 base 8 as the number in base 2. Alright, so because this kind of question is only come out in paper 1, so that you can straight away use the calculator to check for the answer. So what I will do is I go to menu, go to number 3, which is the base number here. And then I want base A, I look for OCT, which is in the blue color letter. All right, then I will key in this base A, right? So 205. Then I'll type enter. And then I want to change it into the base 2. I change to the BIN. So do you see the BIN here? I type it. Then I know my answer for 205 base A. I will get 10000101 base 2. All right, if you want to do manually without want to use the calculator, you can do that. Uh, there's two methods you can use. The first method is you kind of need to uh, change from base 8 to the base 10 first. And then after that, you change from base 10 to the base 2. 
this method going to take you some time, but I believe you know how to use it. The second method is faster, but then the second method, you need to know the relationships between base two, uh, base eight and base two. You need to know the relationship between them. So over here, I will give you a table for base eight and base two. So then you can refer to this table, quickly get uh, the number you want, base eight and base two here. So for base eight, we know we have the number from zero to seven. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. If I want to change the base 8 into the base 2, our, all the number here is one digit, right? When it convert to the base 2, it will become three digits. So same idea to 0, you will get 0, 0, 0. Then you plus 1 here, you'll get 0, 0, 1. So basically, this is 1. If you convert to the base 2, you'll get 0, 0, 1. All right. This is a base 8. Huh? So the next one will be 0, 1, 0. Then the next one will be 0, 1, 1. Then the next one will be 1, 0, 0. Next one will be 1, 0, 1. You keep on plus 1 for base 2. All right, this one will be 1, 1, 0. The last one will be 1, 1, 1 here. All right, so therefore, if I have about 2, 0, 5, base 8, I want to change it into the base 2. This is what I will do. 2, you can see is 0, 1, 0. Then I insert 0, 1, 0. But normally, for the number, right, the first zero, we will always ignore one. The, num the zero in front of my number, I will just ignore. All right, zero is triple zero. And then five is basically 101 here, base two. So you can see my answer here is exactly with the answer given by the calculator. So same idea, if today I have, I have the base two, I want to change to the base A, I can do like that also. Example, so let's say I have a number, something like, one zero one 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 zero base two i want to change the base eight i will need to divide them into the three digits like this okay so you can see one zero one you look for the table one zero one basically is five right so this is base five one one zero one one zero will be six so this number actually equals to 56 into the base eight let's use a calculator to check whether my answer is correct or wrong so i will enter one zero one 110 type enter and then I want to convert it into the base 8 right I type OCT they realize it's 56 basically means it's correct all right let's have a look at the second example second example say given that 1101x x will be the base number equals to 577 find the values of x okay so this one will be a little bit uh, different because the x over here can be either base 2 or base 5 or base 8. Yeah, you do not know. So what you want to do right now is uh, I will type 577 base 10 into the calculator here because you don't see any number here, right? It basically means it's base 10. All right, so I will just look for DEC and then I type 577. I type enter or I type AC first. Then my display here is more clean. Then I type enter. All right, so then I will check by using BIM base two, OCT base A. If both also doesn't give me this number, then I will try about base five here. Okay, so therefore I tried BIN. Obviously you see so many digits here. This is not 1101 only, right? So I know it's not base two, then I try about base A. Then base A actually give me 1101, then I know my X actually equals to A. All right. That's all for this video. I will make another number-based video for Casio Calculator. So I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just type Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the 
calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like five ringgit off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye